paving a way for the future. More than 700 learners from across nine provinces came as delegates to vote for the new COSAS leadership. They raised issues of dilapidated toilets and abuse in schools and say these should be resolved by a stronger organization. They hope learners will now be more coordinated. Congress of South African Students is an organization, is a student organization which, which helps students that are, that are in high school and has, and has helped many students in Northwest, especially here in Northwest. Because of here in Northwest, we have faced struggles and issues whereby we've, we come across teachers who rape learners. COSAS has intervened in those matters. COSAS has made sure that the DBE is held accountable here in Northwest. From now, moving forward, since we have a newly elected structure, we have a newly elected leadership, we want COSAS to now focus on championing the rights of learners. COSAS, the word COSAS, means Congress of South African Students, meaning that the rights of each and every student, each and every learner, each and every student from this uh, uh, country must be championed by the new leadership of COSAS. The newly elected president says the work to coordinate the organization has officially started. The learner from Ikati on secondary in Northwest says the organization should go back to basics and be led by learners. The, the newly elected uh, 20th uh, National Executive Committee of COSAS has taken the resolutions that COSAS must go back to its basics. COSAS must, is, it, it must be led by scholars. And uh, as when we have taken the decision that each and every uh, member of COSAS, each and every scholar must be a member of COSAS in nine provinces in our country. And we must make sure that all learners in, the, in our country are protected. And as the, as the causes, we must make sure that all, all, all learners in, in our country, they must be protected by, the, by this organization. Some provinces, including Limpopo, called for the resignation of the basic education minister for her failure to attend the signing of the Bella Bill into law. Kamakhelo Siegui, SABC News, Bloemfontein.